Once you've been told that your uh, fetus has ventricular megaly, um, you may want to know about the outcome of your pregnancy. What we do know is that uh, the outcome is related to how large the ventricles are. So the larger the ventricles, um, in general, um, the more guarded uh, the outcome. Um, in addition, uh, what we do know is that when the ventricular megaly is isolated, and what is meant by that is that when there are no other findings that are seen on the ultrasound or on any other testing that is done during your pregnancy, then the outcome is more favorable. Um, that being said, then, the most favorable outcome tends to be associated with isolated mild ventricular megaly, which is one of the common uh, referrals here for, to UCSF, which is when the ventricles are large, but not too large. They typically measure um, less than 15 millimeters in size, and when there are no other findings on ultrasound um, and on any type of testing that is done. In those cases, most uh, fetuses will have no problems once they're born, and most will develop normally. There is uh, a small number, however, that may have developmental disabilities um, when they are infants or when they are children, and that is one of the reasons why we do fetal MRI for women whose fetuses have ventricular megaly, uh, because we know that MRI can detect abnormalities in the fetus's brain that may not be detectable with ultrasound, and the presence of those abnormalities is likely associated with a more guarded prognosis.